So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which I want to discuss a well-known question among beginners when they are starting off with HTML CSS which used to bother us all the time back in the days when there was no CSS3 stuff really around the way and that was how you're gonna center something, center some text or some element inside a div. So this is a like a well-known thing and there exist so many solutions now that I can't even tell you. So let's explore some of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and let me just go ahead and move the style sheet a little bit, a little bit up and I'm gonna create a div here and uh, I'm gonna place this hello world inside this, right? All right, so let's just hop back into our style sheet and I'm gonna say to this div that this should have a border of two pixel solid black. Don't worry if you don't understand about border I'm just placing it here so that you can actually see the element on the screen. So once we have that on the on the screen, let me just go ahead and make some space for us here. What I want to do is I want to give it a height of let's say 400 pixels. Now 400 pixels, this pixel basically you would have guessed means the uh, the actual pixel, it's not really the actual pixel as well of your screen, but uh, you know how your operating system defines one pixel on your screen. So on retina displays, it could very well be combination of four pixels instead of one. But that, that's kind of a thing which should be discussed in some intermediate advanced concepts like in responsive designs and how you deal with retina displays on that stuff. Don't worry about that for now. So let's just make it 300 instead so that we can actually see it on screen. So here we are. Now let's say you want to center this hello world on the screen somehow. How are you gonna do that? Let's start with the first approach that is going to be the flexbox approach and trust me I'm just gonna discuss the flexbox one only because others get super confusing really quick if you're starting off. And once you have flexbox we know that we can horizontally center the content of a flex box using justify content and then we can vertically center using align items so you see that's it it's as simple as that you just have to make your parent container flex box make sure the justify content is center and make sure the align items is also center once you do that you're gonna see whatever now whatever you write inside your h1 tag or whatever elements you have it's going to be centered automatically, right? Nothing you have to do, nothing you have to worry about. So yeah, I mean, that's that's basically how you're gonna center off stuff using Flexbox. There used to be other ways as well, they're still present now, like you can, you know, just give a position absolute, uh, you know, just transform all the way to 50% from the top left corner, from the left corner as well, then translate it accordingly. But that kind of gets confusing. And I would really recommend that if you are starting off, just go ahead and stick with the Flexbox approach. It works the best. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. and I'll see you then in the next one really quick.